In the previous episode, we hired Trigva, our third companion. We beat much bigger looter parties, mostly through charge damage. And we won our first Sturgeon tournament. And we did level up on our main character. Uh, let's finish off two-handed. And we want to do Head Basher because we are going to be using axes and maces. And same thing on to be blunt on the 50, level 50 perk, I think. Swing speed or damage. Actually, hmm, tough one. Because this gives damage only for axes and maces. This is for all one-handed weapons, swing speed. So I think maybe the swing speed is a little more important than the damage. It's only 2%, but it works for swords too when we get into those, uh, like the ones we were just in the tournaments. Actually, what we should do before we go is figure out where the next tournament is. Umbrella and Sibir. We could try Sibir. We just don't want to go too close to Canute. Sibir, I think that's probably about the furthest we'll go. And hopefully we can see some bandits. Uh, no bandits, but we did get there in pretty good time. And... Ulf Hednar's helm. That's the, uh, I believe that's the wolf, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, holy crap, 88. That's actually really good. Wow, good and good looking. We got our Ulf Hednar's helmet. Now, I believe this is going to be less armor than what we have. Oh no, it's actually more. Okay, good. I was going to use it anyways, because we do want the look. Yeah, that looks befitting of, of a Viking. Um, this isn't befitting of a Viking, but you're going to take it anyways. Sorry, Ragnvald. And then this little cheeky breaky hat, we're going to swap out. Yeah, we'll swap it out of the way down the line. Now we might have some civilian upgrades here. Yeah, just a little bit. And we can get rid of this thing. 31 dinars, not really going to make us any money, but we got upgraded gear in the process, so that's fine. Ooh, I see a good one. Waterfront's only got one. So waterfront we go. All right, there's only one person, so we don't have to worry about waiting for anybody. All right, go ahead and finish them. Finish him off. Oh, wow. He sprouted three three people. Hmm. Let's see if we have any upgrades. We do, actually. And it's it's the low tier guy. So I was a little concerned about that. Let's go ahead and upgrade him. So that'll put him at 91. Yeah, perfect. And then we'll also give him the shield bearer. All right, let's do it. All right. Here's the plan, boys. Don't die. That's the only plan. Just don't die. All right, we got to focus on the gang leader. Nice. We got him. All right, don't die, don't die, don't die, nobody. Nobody died. Oh man, we got everybody alive. Ooh, I was sweating bullets there a little bit. So we did get an upgrade, let's see. He went to 123, that's pretty nice. And then we went to 64. Trigva actually got two kills there. Probably just got last hits. I'm sure everybody else did a ton of damage. Uh, unfortunately, it, it, only, it doesn't tell you damage done, it just tells you last hits. So you could do, this guy could have done 90 damage and this guy did 10 and then finished him off, you know what I mean? So kind of hard to tell who did what, but at least we know he did something. And no upgrades with these. Let's check the civilian. Okay, cool. So now we got rid of the last, yeah, we got rid of the last of the, um, the Asurai hats. So now we all look like we're at least in the right region, you know what I mean? So we're almost to 3k once more and that means we can... I misclicked. I just hired eight. <laughs> I just hired eight guys. We don't want to do that. And we have to bribe our way and we can't even donate them. So we're just going to have to fire them. Well, that was stupid. I misclicked. So we're back down to 1,200. <laughs> easy come, easy go, right? Ay, 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 ay. I was, I was just trying to check the tavern to see if we can hire anybody. And there was somebody in there. We, we could have hired somebody, but now we can't. Oh, look at that. The lake rats. Only six people in their party. We only have four, and they're all fairly low tier, so not that it matters, but... All right, let's do this back street. There's five there. We, we just gotta, we gotta make money as quickly as we can. We'll take everything we can get at this point. All right, you know the drill. Two people here. Smack him in the head. Smack him. He'll finish him off. All right, yeah, it's a four and four again. Um, I thought we might be advantaged a little bit, but I guess not. Not a big deal. I think we'll handle it again. Oh man, one tap. Alright. Oh no, we okay. We lost we didn't lose somebody, but Okay, yeah, we did. Come on. I have faith Bjorn. I have faith Bjorn. Oh you just missed. Oh, this is intense. Oh, <laughs> right at the last second. Man, he barely, barely won that. We didn't lose anybody. We got injuries, but we didn't lose. 
Oh man, I was sweating bullets there. I thought we were gonna lose. We had gear on us too, so if we went down there, they would have taken our gear. Look at him, he's like, can't believe himself. Is he kneeling? I've never seen that before. That's what I feel like doing right now. <laughs> All right, so one skill in athletics and one one-handed for Bjorn and Jigva. We didn't get much here. Balanced Falchion is probably an upgrade somewhere. Let's see. Not there, maybe on the civilian gear. No, so it's not that good. However, we can use it to smith. We can smelt it down because it's going to cost us time. So hours spent for all actions. Let's go ahead and do this. And we have to wait 1.7 hours. And it costs us 55 dinars per hour, if I recall. Yeah, it's going to give us it's going to give us a couple materials. Interesting. So it round <laughs> it rounds up. So 1.7. We still paid for the two hours. Uh, we do need to wait for a little while. That's going to cost us a few bucks, but that's fine. And for athletics, when no shield or ranged weapon are wielded, you gain 5% movement speed. I think that's going to do better than, than the 4% with melee weapons. We, we do need a little bit of movement speed. And the only time we're using a shield is, is um, yeah, I guess one-handed. But we'll probably be using two-handed most of the time anyways. And Bjorn actually leveled up. Nice. So we can get him to one-handed uh, level four or four focus points. So that'll put him at, yeah, 122. Yeah, so Bjorn, 122, and we're going to give him the hit points again, just like we did with the other one. So trainer, everybody is leveled up. So two level threes and one level two on our companions. Now that is ballooning our our payments up quite a bit. So daily wage with only four people in the party, one of which is our main character that has no wage. Uh, we're still paying quite a bit of money. So we're paying more than 10 dinars per person. Pretty expensive. Yeah, that cost us quite a bit of money. We had to wait like three or four days. We should probably find somebody that's going to be our surgeon. Uh, somebody that's got medicine skill. We'll probably... I think what we'll do is maybe cut out... I don't know. We'll, we'll have to figure that out. But yeah, we'll have to figure something out for that. And how are we doing? We are not overweight, but pretty close to it. Oh, I know why. We have a ton of apples. Yeah, we don't need that many apples. And we could buy some other food to get some Stuart skill. I don't think it's that big of a prior priority right now, to be honest. But we'll do it anyways. Let's just pick up the cheapest stuff. Two of each. That'll that'll give us a little trickle. Oh, nice. I didn't realize there was a tournament here. Eastern Heavy Mace. Yes. Yes, please. I will definitely take that. Yeah, look at that. Swing damage 17, which in RBM terms, it's quite high. All right, our betting is just garbage right now. All right, Mace looks like it's doing a little bit of damage. Not the highest damage. I'd rather have that pole arm. Yeah, let's not do that. That's actually a bad idea. We'll go pick on the archer. Ooh, wow. That was in the shoulder, so that 45 damage. Pretty big hit. Why are you hitting my horse, man? I mean, when you got a small weapon like this, you don't accidentally hit a horse. Like, that was that was definitely intentional. He leaned into that one. <laughs> little punk. You little punk. Dude, with the big pole arm, I, could, I get it. That thing's huge. I mean, it's pretty easy to accidentally hit something else. Here we go. Now we're back in action. All right, let's get the easy targets. Easy targets. Ones that are already engaged. Or somebody's got a ranged weapon out. Oh, or they just ran ran into the wall. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit your horse. See, that's what I'm saying. Even I do it sometimes. I didn't mean to hit his horse. I meant to stab him. Nice. Clean sweep on that one. Didn't lose anybody. Right. They do have an archer. Let's avoid getting shot. Okay, he's like hyper focused on the other guy. Alright. We're going in to Studo. Nope, he's not even aiming at us now. Sit down. Yeah. 
pretty good fight. This guy's got some good blocking skills. Oh, you faked me out. Yeah, I'm aiming for his head, too, when we get the chance. Oh, yeah. Stay down. We did, I mean, we didn't take much damage even when we got hit. Our armor is just really good right now. So we'll probably be moving up soon. We'll probably equip that he the Eastern Heavy Mace. I do like that. I think it'll be good on our main character. So I don't really want to be using one-handed too much, but if we do have to use it, I will gladly smack somebody with a mace. Now let's see what kind of... Yeah, this is going to be an upgrade for, for Bjorn. And not really an upgrade there. Let's go ahead and smelt that down. We still have a little bit of ways to go on our healing, so we can do this while we're while we're waiting. Cost us another 110, but that's fine. Now, how are we looking on weight? Uh, one thing I wasn't 100% sure on is how much we can sell some of these swords for. So, for example, if we so let's say let's say we refine we refine this, we got our three. Let's go ahead, and that's going to cost us one hour. And then, as far as forging, let's go to our two-hander. You know what? Actually, I don't want to do a sword. I want to level up the mace. I would like to get a, a good two-handed mace. Yeah, this part doesn't add any, this part doesn't add anything. It actually takes away it takes away thrust speed and handling. So we'll just leave it off. And can we boost the damage up a little bit more? We can get to 17. We can actually get to 18 if we do it like this. Now this is swing blunt damage, thrust pierce. So that's fine. We do want the swing blunt because that does pretty good damage. Now it's going to use up all of our iron. It's going to... Oh, let's see. We're going to be original with our naming, our nomenclature here. We got hit pretty hard with the debuffs on this. So minus three thrust pierce damage, which I don't care. So now <laughs> we actually have a negative number. That's kind of funny. And then swing blunt damage minus one. That's the one that was most important. We only got a three there. Uh, minus one, sorry. And handling minus three. So that's pretty rough. And hours spent for all actions is six hours. Yeah, there's no chance that that pays for itself. Six hours is a long time. It's like 300. Wow, smithing is super pricey. What, what can we even sell this thing for? 900? Oh, uh, I don't even know what that what that means as far as pricing goes um so we spent six hours plus smelting all the stuff we'll call it maybe eight no no no. probably like nine or ten hours so 500 plus the materials whatever the materials cost so it was like two two iron a couple hardwoods charcoal all that so you're probably still profitable but just barely uh this two-handed mace is better than the two-handed axe so we'll definitely use that and because I'm a glutton for punishment, let's go ahead and smelt that down. We don't have a two-hander. We don't have anybody that's using two-handed besides us anyways, so that's fine. All right, let's go make some money. We definitely need it right now. And let's get an update on these guys. Are they at war? They're not still. Okay, so we can't join them. Ooh, here we go. There's nine. I think... Oh, they're not going to fight them. So we'll let's track them down. We're just armless travelers. All right, what does our mace look like? Yeah. <laughs> Man. That thing's huge. All right, let's get people to follow. They do have archers. They got three archers. So actually, let's just give the charge command. I don't think we need to micro this too much. We'll try and distract them with our main character. We're going to go wide, and then we'll head in at about the time that we'll end up being there. All right, there we go. 38 damage from the charge. That's what you want to see when you charge somebody with a horse. And beautiful. So that's one archer down. We just want to make sure we're there when these other guys are showing up. That way we're not risking their lives too much. All right, one more archer. All right, here they come in. I'm not going to get there in time. So that might be trouble for him. Ooh, okay. So he took a hit, but he also dished one out. All right, so he took a hit there too. Let's see if we can get this guy while he's down. Nice, got him on his way back up. This guy's coming in hot. Let's distract the horse. At least we want to get the uh, spear out of the way. This is the guy that's doing all the damage right here. This one on the end. He's got the chainmail helmet. All right, let's just keep a good distance. We just, like I said, we want to distract this guy while our other guys are coming in. I don't know where they are, where they're coming in. All right, here they come. So let's just stay here. We'll just call his mom something. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll get some free hits. <laughs> we'll get some free hits. Oh, he's down. Okay, beautiful. Now it's time to dish out some pain. Okay. They're pretty fast. We're not nearly as fast as as we would be if this was vanilla, but we can use our, our upgraded shield. Alright. Gotta hit your shots, guys. There we go. Yeah, there's the shield on the back doing this thing. Okay, that didn't that didn't work. We hit him on the ground. No, we didn't hit him on the ground. Oh man, I missed. <laughs> this looks really bad. We are getting some pretty good levels though. If you notice down there, we gained two already just from hitting the uh, this guy's shield. Oh, you pushed me out of the way. Who was that? All right, let's get this guy this time. Once and for all. 43 damage, not bad. There we go, and our shield on the back actually did, did his job that time. There we go, he's down. Ooh. Oh, man. There we go, nice job, Ragnvald. Under the shoulder hit, so that did a lot of damage. So everybody got some kills. Looks like nobody leveled up, though. So I'm kind of curious why that is. We got six levels with our two-handed. That's huge. Three athletics, which is also not bad. And we got quite a bit of gear here, but it doesn't look like anything is too good. We should have some upgrades, though, because I think we have some guys towards the end. Yeah, here we go. So even even Raganvad doesn't have good good hand guards. Yeah, for sure, Drigva doesn't have any good ones, so that'll help. And then we'll also check civilian... Yep, no, it doesn't have anything, so even the arm wraps are going to be an upgrade. Uh, fortunately, we don't have any more shoulders or hands, but that's fine. So we got a little bit of gear to sell. And did anybody take damage? Yeah, Ragnvald did. Not not a lot. Kind of curious. No, he's going to get chased. And we don't really want to fight 10. That's probably a little bit too much for us. There's a tournament here, so we could do that. But first, let's sell some stuff. Yeah, let's just get rid of all of this useless gear. It's not really doing anything for us. We picked up a couple more food groups too, or uh, different types of foods. We got oranges, fish, and pie. Can't remember which ones we had already, but... And Tvigva actually still has a Sumter horse. So let's get him at least a step horse. So he's not just completely, you know... An old Sumter horse doesn't look like it added anything to the inventory capacity. I'm wondering why that is. Yeah, it doesn't change it. That's, that's fine, we'll just sell him. Here we go. Step steel helmet with lamellar. It sounds really nice. 90 armor, so it's it's quite good. Not as good as what we have. Uh, man, 240 for 150. We're, we're not even going to bet that, so we're no risk. Oh, man, we got right in the middle of three of these guys. Not very smart. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, we probably have more control on, on the floor as long as we're... Yeah, there we go. We'll take some hits. Yeah, it's gonna say as long as they're stuck here, but once they start moving around, we gotta get back on the horse. I'm having a hard time seeing the color. It's really dark. Like this guy looks red. There we go. Two left, but it's the tougher ones. All right, that's ours. He's blue. Ooh, nice. Down to one. There we go. That's it. Should get a little easier now. Yeah, we'll target the gun foot first. Nice. Got a good kick off on him. Take him out. I don't think... I think we'll just stay on foot. 
All right, so we're we're blue. We need to help our blue buddy out. And we're just smashing through people. All right, green. That's not ours. Smash his horse. Ooh, that was, that was a big hit. I thought I could skirt around his... Oh. <laughs> oh, he killed him. Wow, he actually took him out. Oh, and he hamstringed the guy. Oh, that's going to hurt, man. All right, we got to fight our buddy now, but we knew it was going to happen. All right, this guy's not letting me get a hit off. All right, we'll take a few stabs on the floor. That's fine. And an easy last hit. Let's go check this thing out. Like I said, I don't think it's gonna, an upgrade for us, but it will be probably for Bjorn, I would imagine. Yeah, not for us, not for Ragnvald. It is for Bjorn. And then that means Trigva will have a nice helmet. So he's got 56 armor to the head now, at least. And what about, it actually can be used in the civilian setting. Interesting. So the Northern hide cap. We'll, we'll take our 31 dinars for selling that. Unfortunately, it's not really worth much, but uh, like I said, we're, we're getting better gear. I wonder if this takes into account the gear they have or if it's just the level because 5.48 compared to 5.52 those are both the same level they're both i believe it's three yeah three and three ragnvald is literally right on the edge of getting to, to level four which that'll cap out his vigor and max out his one-handed so that'll put him at 153 interesting stuff there's only five at the clearing here let's wait a little bit so we don't have to do it in the dark that tournament was really dark. And actually, I believe he just leveled up. Oh, we we leveled up too, level 10. Now, here's the dilemma. Do we go one-handed in riding or do we do something else? Because we do need, we need probably one point into trade at some point. Don't really want to do it now. It's kind of hard to trade with, you know, four people in your party. Medicine would be nice to have because that would give us at least preventative medicine. Although we don't need it necessarily because as I mentioned before, you're going to get that 5% learning rate drip. So we don't have to put a point into it. We'll eventually get there. It's going to take a while. Uh, I think the right move is to to boost up writing and one-handed probably. I, I don't know that there needs to be an emphasis on one over the other. So we'll probably just do them both together. That's fine. So we'll have everything in Vigor and Endurance maxed out. We'd love to get Vigor up to 10. Uh, we're going to get two. So really, we need to boost this up to eight because we're going to get, yeah, we'll get one right here, Vigor, and we'll get another Vigor right here, Vigor is Smith. So again, we're going to get two attributes in Endurance, two attributes to Vigor. Really, really strong build. I love doing Endurance. High Endurance is, is always a strong, strong way to go. And let's go check out the clearing. I see two people. Looks like there's a guy over there and a guy right here. I think we can just go for it. Ruggenvald should be able to hold. Oh, whoops. I had blocked and then I let go early trying to get a, like an exact hit. That's fine. Yeah, Ruggenvald can definitely hold his own against these guys. I really love that instead of having to babysit everybody. <laughs> oh, and your skippies again, I can see. So it is, it's a four on four. Actually, let's check and see if this guy leveled up. So Ruggenvald did hit. We're going to put him at 10 vigor. We're going to cap out as one handed. We are there. We made it. Probably do athletics next. So let's put him. He's going to go up to 153. And then that's it. We got to get the rest of the way on our own. Now, as far as perks go, let's see what we got. We're going to probably... I don't know if these actually work in RBM because there is no force field, so to speak. So I think actually if that's the case, we probably should take shield wall. 20% less damage while blocking in the wrong direction. I don't know if the AI ever blocks in the wrong direction if they have their block up, to be honest. So yeah, so we'll, we'll try that one anyways. And then on this one, he's never going to be party leader. So these first perks are completely pointless. I guess he could be a party leader. We'll probably keep him in our party, to be honest. So mostly just looking at the governor. Uh, these are both totally useless. So that, that one's kind of a wasted perk. Doesn't look like anybody else is there. All right, here we go. I expect big things from you, boys. Oh, we're getting hit by a lot. That's all right. The better that we... Oh, no, no, no. We actually... Two people went down there. No, one person, sorry. Didn't die. Pirigva went down. Two kills, one kill, and then we got one... 
We got one tactics for for some reason. For renown, like I said, these these are actually really good for renown. All right, let's just double check, make sure there's no upgrades. It is actually an upgrade, balanced iron saber. However, I I would actually rather have it again on the uh, the civilian gear. So let's just upgrade the civilian gear, and then we'll see what it what that looks like on the main. We'll just upgrade it all the way down. Yeah, it looks like that's the last one. So we can smelt this one, this tapered blade. Let's see what it looks like. Doesn't give us much of anything, to be honest. And we can sell it right now for 300, whatever. We'll do it anyways. We need to level up our smithing. Now we can, while we're waiting, we can serve as a guard. That's an eight hour shift. And we get 50 dinars each time we do that. So it's not a complete waste because we do need to wait for these guys to heal up anyways. So let's just keep doing that. Nice. So they're back to at least good enough to walk around health. So that pays, that more than pays for our wage. Uh, we can do it a couple more times. Let's get these guys up to 50% health. I don't think it gives you any skill XP, though. All right, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, close enough. 50 and 43. Now, as far as crafting, we can craft a few things. We can't craft the mace, unfortunately, because that needs iron. But we might be able to do... Yeah, we can do some two-handers. So let's see what these piles of garbage sell for. Uh, we do need... Let's see. I think we can probably do two here. Yeah, we've got enough for two. So these are throwaway, we're just going to sell them. Six hours, again, it's 55 each, so 110 every two, so 330. And then we want to see what they're worth. Not a lot. This one covers at least the blacksmithing, uh, what do you call it, their hourly rate. And then I guess this represents the profit, plus maybe a little bit of the materials, but that's not that's not enough. Yeah, that blew through all of our materials. So crafting just does not give you much... Uh, not much of a benefit. Let's check upgrades here. So we got a little bit on our boots. Nothing else for anybody. So we'll just sell the rest. Yeah, we're hunting bandits now. We need to we need to make some easy money. All right, let's do it. They've only got two archers. Let's flank around. Nice. Pick him off. I see one guy with the spear in the middle. I think. Yeah, that's the one we got to worry about the most. I think we'll just keep circling them, see if we can get some easy picks. They have to keep turning. Probably do it when this guy comes in. Let's turn with him. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Doesn't matter, he knocked him off his off his feet. Alright, this guy's coming in. Two people coming in here actually. Let's either make it easier for him, or they'll make it easier for us. Nice. Alright, let's come in with this guy. Oh no, we missed- I didn't see that guy. <laughs> didn't matter, didn't look like he took a hit. Oh, that was a big hit. He's got really good armor though. Yeah, his, da his armor absorbed 110 damage. Oh, we killed him. <laughs> Oh man, the blood damage does actually kill in this mod, so even even getting charged. Oh, they're down to one guy. All right, we're gonna duel this guy. Not fairly. We're still gonna have people charging him. Oh, nice. Yeah, I love that the mace just completely destroys their posture. All right, we took six kills there, which is fine. We need to level up a bit on ours, because remember, the higher we go, the more it's going to contribute to everybody else's. And the, the lowest thing that we have right now, I think, compared to everybody else, is that one-handed. So it's going to help everybody else kind of come up with us. I doubt any of this is good. Yeah, I don't I don't think any of this is, is worth using. We'll have some stuff to sell at least. All right, we're back up to almost 3k again. Hopefully we can not buy eight mercenaries and waste all of our money again. <laughs> oh, that was so painful. We could have had five people right now. All right, here's another group of eight. I don't think anybody took damage on that last one, so... Flawless victory. We can probably do it again here. Now, we did get a message from Harold Godwinson. He wants us to be a mercenary. Now, if you don't know, Harold Godwinson was the uh, the king of, of England. We don't want to do that. We'll be facing him later. So thanks, but no thanks. All right, there's three archers this time. Let's see if they've got a heavy armored guy. Yeah, it looks like there's one. He's got a sword out, though. It doesn't have... 
Ooh, that was a big hit. Oh, good hit. Yeah, they're just getting picked apart. Seems like the AI struggles a bit more in this mod against Cav. Yeah, crushed through for 76 damage. Even if they block, doesn't matter. All right, let's 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 go bowling. Let's go bowling. And then, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful to watch our guys in action. They two-time that guy. All right, we're just gonna go bowling. All right, let's catch this guy. He's coming in. Oh, they're coming after him. Let's see if we can turn their attention. And these aren't even good horses. These are like the starter bottom of the barrel. They just, I mean, it's literally like bowling. And if they don't have any pull arms, like that guy just got smashed again. So no pull arm, they can't really stop our horse. But we'll stab that guy, crash into the other one. I love it, man. This is this is what mounted combat should be in vanilla, just stomping people. Which is probably what fighting cavalry was like in real life. Alright, we got six kills. Nothing real fancy here. Some more throwaway stuff. That's fine. We'll sell all of this. And we did hit, let's see, two-handed, level 75. Which this one, I think we're going to probably take the knockback, the show of strength. This one's pretty good. Infantry troops are 20% cheaper to recruit, which will come in handy later. Yeah, XP for troops is usually not a concern when I, at least when I play. So I think we'll pass on that one. <laughs>